Many people think the story of Vegas starts and ends with the Strip. Saber-toothed cats, giant elephants, dire wolves, these are things that most people see in history books, just in drawings. But out here in Tule Springs, Nevada, they come alive. But UNLV professor of paleontology, Josh Bondi, knows the real history of this city hides in the dirt of these dusty hills. He's gonna tell us more about it. There he is now. I meet Dr. Bondi at Tule Springs Park, 30 minutes north of the Las Vegas Strip. What are we doing here? We're hunting for fossils. Josh, what's so special about this site here? Well, it turns out that up here on the north end of the Las Vegas Valley, these are the most prolific Ice Age fossil sites in the entire world. So we find more Ice Age fossils in a small area here than probably any other place I've ever, ever even heard of. When the last Ice Age ended about 11,000 years ago, water covered much of Nevada. And where there's water, there's usually wildlife. The first discoveries were back in 1909 where they reported a mastodon find in the Las Vegas Valley. And subsequently in the 19-teens, 1930s, a couple famous paleontologists from California came out here and they found remains of horses, bison, an American lion. A rich variety of ancient animals once called Nevada home. Giant sloths, mastodon, rhinoceroses, early species of horses and bison, and even an American lion. Massive predators weighing in at over 500 pounds, about 25% larger than modern day lions. So Josh, what other animals were found around here? Uh, we found, found out that there's two species of bison here. So there's a great big bison, looks like a mo big modern bison, and then a Texas longhorn bison called bison latifrons, would have been about eight feet tall with great big long horns. Out here, that was all out here. Out here, yeah. Another of Nevada's ancient giants, bison latifrons, weighed an estimated 4,400 pounds. That's twice the size of today's bull, about as heavy as a car. Now, if you're looking for a fossil, what do you do? There's a couple different scales of fossils. So if we look real close at this pond deposit, each one of these little individual white specks is a clam shell or, or a little snail shell. That's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a tiny little shell. Yeah, it's a little pond snail that lived there 14,000 years ago. 14,000 years ago, these mounds of dirt were the bottom of a living pond. And the bones of the prehistoric creatures who roamed this land may be right under our boots. And one of the hardest things about when you first start looking for bones is the pattern recognition. So if we look real close up here, I'll show you a piece. That's a piece of bone right there. Now, how did you know that? Because to me, it just looks like everything else. You just have to train your eye for that. Something that looks too regular, something that doesn't look too sandy, something that doesn't look too gravelly. Smooth surfaces, round surfaces, patterned. What? It's a bone of what? Any idea? My guess would be it's more bison. And you find a chunk like that that's on a little slope like this. Usually what we do is we follow it uphill until we don't find any more of it, and that's where we put our test pits. Test pits meaning that's where you start digging to see if there's more? Yep. We try to find where it's coming out. Because when it's out like this, it's been exposed to the elements for years, decades maybe even, and so we want the pristine stuff, which is still in the ground. It tells us a little bit more about the anatomy of the animal. You know what's amazing, just sitting here talking to you, is that this isn't just about finding a bone here, or finding a bone there. You actually put it together and make stories out of what happened here. Yes, but when I look at a bone, that bone's a story. So every single bone was part of a bigger organism who lived its life somewhere here in the Las Vegas Valley tens of thousands of years ago, met its demise one way or another, withstood the statistical probability of even falling in a place that would eventually become rock and to preserve its story. I don't know, it's like reading a history book. Absolutely, the story's in the rocks. For experts like Dr. Bondi, fossils are stories trapped in the earth waiting to be uncovered. During the course of a one week survey of this property, we found over two dozen brand new sites. And right now we're actively excavating about three or four. Tule Springs spreads over 20,000 acres. It's a treasure trove of bones where scientists could possibly find even more prehistoric secrets. You know, I'm gonna find something substantial. I'm telling you without you having to point <laughs> it out, I'm gonna figure this out. So here we have a little piece of mammoth tusk. So this is ice age ivory. With Dr. Bondi's help, I make my own fossil discovery. It's a tiny fragment of tusk, something this professor knows a thing or two about. Out here, what is the biggest, most dramatic thing you've ever found? Me personally is a mammoth tusk. So we got about a five to six foot long mammoth tusk that we dug up a couple of years ago out here. And what'd you do with it? 
we dug it up, put it in a plaster jacket, and then hauled it down to the Las Vegas Natural History Museum downtown, so where it's on display and, and kids can come check it out now. Dr. Bondi's tusk discovery reminds us of the rich variety of prehistoric creatures that once lived right here, just a short drive from Las Vegas Boulevard. How do you ever stop? How do you ever sleep at night? You could be here forever. <laughs> it's all just, I mean, that's why it's a passion too, so come out here and you get to walk places that people haven't walked in decades, centuries, even in some projects, and you're looking for an even deeper history to the earth. It's peaceful out here too. Yeah, you got a lot of time for introspection when you're out here looking, <laughs> <laughs> getting the sun burning, thinking about life. Now a national monument, Dr. Bondi and other experts will continue to hunt Tule Springs Hills on the lookout for fossils and writing more pages in the book of Nevada's natural history. What they find next, and next,